Uh, so what we're going to do in the last part of this episode is we're going to go see if we can take out all those fuelings that are next to our new base because they were there first, I came in later, and it's my right to drive them out of their home so that I can move into my new home because this is a Viking game and that's what Vikings do. They take what they want with force. Right? Am I right? I'm right. Welcome back, everybody, to Valheim. I am the Bearded OG. In this episode, we're going to do a few things around our our uh, base here before we go back to the plains and work on our new base. Uh, we're, the first thing we got to do is kick the shit out of those uh, those fuelings. But um, a couple of things popped up when I logged in. Um, one of them was the maypole. Uh, so we can make a maypole, and I believe this increases our rested bonus. And it looks like we can make it inside the house, which is very interesting. How about we not do that? <laughs> um, instead, maybe we'll put it outside. Um, what if we put, whoops, uh, what if we put it right here? Um, maybe right here. How's that? Yeah, I think that works. So, does that increase... Yeah, that, that gave us comfort 14. I think we... I don't know. We didn't have 14 before. I don't, remember, I don't remember if we had 12. I think we had 13 before. Nice. So, that boosts our rested bonus right there. Something else popped up called a something or other wreath. Summer or something wreath. You know, like that you'd put on your head kind of thing. Like a laurel. Um... Where? Uh, here we go. Midsummer crown. Celebrate summer with a crown woven from flowers. That's that's probably just a decorative thing. It doesn't really give you any benefits, so we're not going to worry about that. Um, okay, now we can also make some other important stuff that's going to help us make better food and all that sort of thing. Um, so what I want to do is go into here. Oh, right. We can make the hot tub, too, which will give us more rested bonus. And um, and I think these tables will do the same thing here. Uh, we're going to need fine wood for that stuff. I don't know. The black metal chest must just be even bigger storage, I'm guessing. I don't remember that when I used to play. That might be new. And God knows we need to do something about storage in this place, that's for sure. Uh, we already got the... Uh, well, actually, we don't have a locks rug down. I don't know... See, that you guys have... What's this? A red jute carpet. Oh, we gotta... We still gotta go do the caves up in the mountains, because that's where we get the jute from. You guys kind of confused me a little bit... Uh, um, about how the comfort bonuses work, because some of you are saying... Uh, you only get one point of comfort for each category of item, but then some. But then you were saying, except for there were a couple of exceptions, and I didn't, I didn't fully understand all of that. <laughs> um, so let's do this. Uh, let's see if we can get the hot tub up here, and we don't. I just kind of put this shit here for the hell of it, and it's not doing us any good in terms of comfort bonus. So. Oh, that made us heavy. I'm mostly doing this... Well, I'm doing it for funsies, of course, but I'm also doing it to give us even more rest bonus. So we're doing it for practical reasons as well. Uh, even though, you know, we're moving to... Well, I mean, this is still going to be our base, too. Uh, we're not, like, abandoning it. It's just that we're going to hopefully build something a little bit bigger and better. Maybe not bigger, but definitely better. Or different. Maybe different's the right word. Because I kind of like our a little base here that I... Ooh, man, I gotta watch that. In fact, here, let's eat. A couple episodes ago, I killed myself jumping off that damn thing. Because you don't pay close attention to your health when you're at your base, you know, and then... And you don't really realize how how uh, far down you are. Um, 
those of you who did leave those comments about how comfort works, don't re-comment. I'll, <laughs> I'll go back and uh, read those more closely again. I'm not asking you to re-explain. It just, it wasn't, you know, I, I didn't read it verbatim per se. I, I, I kind of glanced at it and it didn't, it, it just seemed confusing. Now, I think I was probably distracted with some other things at the time too, so I didn't fully try to absorb it. But all that to say, I don't want you to try and re-explain that to me, but I'm not expecting you to, to do that, so don't worry about it. I'll figure it out. All right. Now, we want to make the hot tub first, so let's go to here. Uh, no, furniture. And we're going to need... Uh, we're going to need the stone that we just... <laughs> that we just put away. Let's go pick up that damn stone again. Um, all right. What if we put it at an angle here? Do, okay, so we probably have to... Hmm, I can't get at it. Oh, that's kind of cool how that broke. How did that make me start carrying too much? That's hacks. Alright, let's t let's turn it... I mean, it, it looks nice at an angle like that, but... Let's just put it there for the minute, for the moment. Now, can I add wood to it? Does that create smoke, though? I mean, it does. It does. That might... That might not be a problem, though, because we already have smoke accumulating up in the rafters anyways, and it's it just kind of goes out the top. It doesn't really bother us. Okay, so the question then is... Pick this back up again. Can I get it in at an angle? See, the problem is I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to the stove. Because right now we still just have a comfort of 14. There we go. Okay, now does that increase our comfort? 16! Haha, <laughs> look at that! Okay, I can get back there. It's a little jank, but it is doable. I suppose the other thing I could do is just remove this whole business, but I kind of like that there. It adds some pizzazz to the place, so I'll just work with the jankiness of it. Nice, comfort level 16. That rocks. Okay, now I believe we can also get more comfort with... Uh, if we make one or both of these tables here, uh, which we'll have to, of course, do down below. Um, I'm curious, too, as to how many of those, uh, or how much space we get from this black metal chest. The thing is, is we're running out of room in this place, man. We are running out of room. Um, the other thing I want to make is, and I don't think that this will contribute to comfort. Maybe it will. Probably not, though, because it's a crafting item. Uh, I want to make the oven. And that is also going to smoke. The question is, where in tarnation are we going to put it? Can we try and make it work right here? You don't have any cookable items. Do we... Oh, I think I just added the wood to it. Now it wants me to cook something. So, how do I know what to cook? Because that didn't open up any new recipes for us. Oh no, add wood. My guess is that that smoke will just rise up to the, you know, like it's doing on this side. <laughs> oh no, that's the steam from the hot tub. And we'll probably be okay. All right, now, I don't, I don't know what to bake is the thing. Cause you know, when you look in here, you get your recipes, right?
All right, let me let me see if I can figure out. I'm gonna have to look it up and see how to use this thing. Um, I just want to look at something. Okay, yeah, no, we're still at comfort 16 because I don't think that that contributes to comfort. Obviously, we have to put something in our in our hot bar, you know, one through eight to place it in there. I get that, but I just don't know what it is I'm supposed to put in there. Let's try a piece of lox meat. Before I look it up, I just want to see if I can figure it out. You can't use lox meat on stone oven. Of course not. Why in the hell did I think I could bake some lox meat? That's the dumbest thing anybody ever came up with. Okay. Let's make the table uh, next, because I, I think that'll also give us some comfort bonus. Um, we can either do the round table or we can do the long table. I don't know. I, I, I know how big that, in fact, that's about the same size as the hot tub. Um, but like I said, we are running out of space in this place. Plus I want it over on this side anyway, because all, all of my comfort bonus stuff is over here. We could pro oh, you know what we could do? We could probably remove this table here and put the round table or the long table there. But I need to go get some fine wood. So let's do that first. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I figured, I think I figured out the stone oven. Uh, we have to make another piece, but let's do the table first. So right now uh, we have a comfort of 16. If we, uh, we remove that. Does that screw us up? It does. Uh, it does remove a comfort. Okay, so we we want to keep that table then too. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's let's make the big table. Oh, I'm still missing some nails. All right. Why am I encumbered? 56. How many nails did that say we needed? I've been playing other games too, Satisfactory, Planet Crafter, and so on, and they're all different in terms of which key you press for the build menu and stuff, and so I get used to one and then I go play the other one and I'm all screwed up. We need 20 nails for that. Okay. So in this key, uh, this game rather, it's the build key, the B key. Well, I guess that's not as big as I thought it was. What about this one? Ooh, that son of a bitch is big. Goodness gracious. Alright, I I don't think these have independent... Um, uh, what, what would you call it? Comfort levels. I think they're going to be one or the other. So... If we put that there... Can I still get around through here? Yeah, I can. Okay. Now, did that boost our comfort back? Oh, now we're at 17. Okay. And if we put this other table back where it was, did that brings us up to 18 now? No, we're still just at 17. So what I'm going to do then is put the round table over here for more, you know, so we have a little more room. Things are getting very tight in our little base here <laughs> with all this stuff. Okay, so that gives me comfort level 17. Um, and yeah, it looks like 24 minutes of full rested. So that's a nice little improvement. We had a four, basically four more minutes to our rested buff. I want to look at this for a second and see how much space it actually gives us. I don't think I'm gonna keep it here for now. Okay, so it gives four, six, seven, eight. So it gives 32 slots. Isn't that the same as the other one? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's 24 slots. So yeah, this is bigger. It does give us more room. Okay, that's good to know. Um, but like I said, there's, there are more important things at the moment that I need black metal for, uh, weapons and armor and that kind of thing. So 
we'll probably be making those later on. Now, let's go back to the whole cooking thing here. Uh, crafting. So, there's that. And I actually also need to put the tool shelf down. I've, I never did that. Or did I? Oh, no, I put it down. Yeah, never mind. I did, I did do the tool shelf. Okay, so we need to put this... Uh, these pots and pans down and that's I think what will open up those other recipes uh, okay can I cauldron level 4 hmm Okay, so yeah, it did upgrade it, but it doesn't it doesn't give me any new recipes. I know what the problem is. I know what the problem is. I need to I first need to harvest barley and make flour out of it in the mill, and that's what will open up those recipes. That's what's missing. Okay, now I understand. Now I understand. So that we won't be able to do that until we get really get going in the plains. I had to kill some bad bads out here last night. Oh. Hmm. That must have been left over from that circling, circling attack we had in the last episode. Okay. Well, now we know what the deal is. All the more reason for us to get that planes base going, but we made some nice improvements uh, to the base here. Uh, so what we're going to do in the last part of this episode is we're going to go see if we can take out all those fuelings that are next to our new base because they were there first, I came in later, and it's my right to drive them out of their home so that I can move into my new home because this is a Viking game and that's what Vikings do. They take what they want with force. Right? Am I right? I'm right. I mean, morally, probably not right. But you guys know what I mean, right? I said right again. How many times am I going to say right? Anyway. <laughs> okay. We got off at a little bit of a thing there. Um, so let's put that there. Uh, let me, Yeah, let me just get a couple things put away and then I'll meet you guys. Uh, we'll go through the portal and we'll go kick the shit out of those guys. Or, or we'll die horribly trying. Maybe a little bit of both. We'll see. Okay, so everybody's fighting on my property against the troll, uh, the Tara guys. So why don't we just let them do their thing until... Because the, the one thing that's for certain, we cannot take on multiple berserkers and a bunch of fuelings at once. We're going to have to try and pick them off a little bit at a time. Um... So let's let... There's, Jesus, there's four Berserkers, too. This is going to be fun. Um, can we get the attention of this little bastard here? Oh, I guess we already did. Let's not waste an arrow on him. Look at this, man. We got some free tar. Fantastic. So yeah, we're just going to have to pick these guys off a little bit at a time. Uh, there's some locks over there too, so we don't want to tangle with them at the same time either. I mean, just one locks is a handful for me at this point. Let alone multiple locks, berserkers, and fuelings all at once. Yeah, that uh, that's not sound like a good time. Um, yeah, so let's just keep all this stuff over here for now. It shouldn't uh, ever despawn. I don't think it does anyway. Okay, we got another fueling out in the water there. I'm excited to uh, build this place. It's going to be cool, man. Alright, well, we're not going to get his black metal, any, uh, metal anytime soon. So, is there any way to pull just one berserker? <laughs> it looks like they may have cleared out the tar 
the tar goop he got. Well, not all of them. Because I'm going to need room to maneuver here. Oh, shit. Let's pull this guy way away from the fuelings. And then we'll deal with him. Okay, we got a piece of tar from him. I just don't want any outside interference. Because we're going to have our hands full just with the main dudes. So let's see if we can pull this guy over towards us as well. There's a locks up there we don't want to tangle with either. Okay. So I think that's it for the the blobs for now. We'll harvest the rest of this tar later, of course. I don't know how uh oh, is that is that just part of what the pool does? I think it is. I don't know how, you know, when they'll repop or not, but hopefully not anytime soon. Okay, so let's go over this way. I'm not sure how fast those berserkers are. Like, in other words, can we get away from them if they start chasing us? I wish they weren't so damn close together. The other thing, too, is... We don't want to die close to that village, because if we die way the hell out here, we, you know, we want to be able to get our stuff. All right, let's just try this and see what happens. It's probably a bad idea, but we got to kill him one way or the other. Okay. Getting the locks involved was not my plan. We are definitely putting the hurt on that berserker, though. He's my bigger concern. I mean, I need to be concerned about the locks, too. But this guy's almost dead. Okay. Take that, you bastard. Alright. God, that hurt. Guess we're gonna have to take this guy out, too. Son of a bitch, look at my health. These guys are no joke, man. Get out of here, Skeeter. Locks, will you just fuck off, dude? I won't kill you if you won't kill me. How's that? Can we, can we come to an accord? Oh, there's a berserk over there. Can we come to an accord here, please? I don't think he's gonna... They're not very forgiving, you know? Oh, how about if I get my shield out? How's that sound? That's a good idea, right? You think? Uh-oh. Did I get that Berserker's attention now? Son of a bitch, nothing's ever easy. <laughs> nothing's ever fucking easy. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Except for when it is, which isn't very often. Alright, we're gonna have to do this, I'm gonna think. God for bone mass, man. Okay, come here. Just waiting for my stamina to get back a little bit. Okay, stamina.
You asked for it, you big hairy bastard. Oh. Misty fishing bait. That's cool. Okay. Um, that fueling we killed, I think, dropped some black metal, but I don't even know exactly where that was. Was it right around the corner here? Oh, well, I guess I won't worry about it. Some wood up that way. There's a couple skeeters. Let's get them for their stingers. So, one Berserker down, <laughs> and one Locks down. Those guys are aggressive, man. We'll have to tame one at some point. Now, we need to watch out for the Shaman, too, wherever the hell he's at. He's a pain in the ass, too. It's not quite as dangerous as the Berserkers, though. We're using... The, okay. I think... Is that a Shaman or a Spear guy? a spear guy. Okay. If he's gonna just stay up there, that suits me just fine. Hey, cut that out. Alright. There's another berserker, but he's standing right next to another locks. Hmm. Okay, let's let's leave them alone for the moment. Come over this way. It's kind of, you know, because the village is up a little higher, the train's not working in our favor. We can't see very well. I don't want to get super close because then we'll aggro a whole bunch of them all at once. Can they climb up into that tower? I don't know. Alright, let's see if we can pull this one. Again, if if we're destined to die today, I want to make sure it's way far away from that village. Oh, is he not chasing us? Oh, here he is. Okay. Can I pull the locks without pulling anybody else? Because I think we're not going to be able to avoid him. Oh, it went right over his back. Oh, we must have got a really good crit off on him unless he was... Yeah, I'm sure we did. He's down. We're doing good on our weight. Okay. That makes me feel a little bit better to get rid of the loxes. Because here again, and they're, they're pretty tough enemies in their own right. Now, can I pull this next berserker? Get away from the village. Don't juke. Juking's not allowed. Yeah, stand right there. That's exactly what I want you to do. You're my favorite berserker. that sword out. Oh, 
He's going back. What the hell? He's not my favorite berserker anymore. Keep doing that. Exactly. Oh, we have another Lux. <laughs> Suck it, dude. Okay. We're slowly but surely cleaning these guys out. I, is that Lox? Uh, why is he irritated? Is he mad at me? I don't know what the hell he's doing. All right, we got to get him out of here because he's just going to be a pain in the ass if we don't. Get yourself on fire. That's good. That's good. We like that. Is it? Is, is he dead? No. Where'd he go? Oh, he just died. Okay. The fire killed him. We'll get his giblets later. him out. Right, let's see if we can get this berserker. Right, right over his... Actually, let's go for this one. Did we get the attention of two of them? Not today, you don't. Alright, there's at least two more berserkers in this village. There's one by the bonfire and the one that's over that way. I haven't seen a shaman, though. That doesn't mean there isn't one there. I just haven't noticed it. One more Berserker. Oh, and there's an Elite, too. He's going to be dangerous. In fact, he... If I remember right, those bastards can be more dangerous than the Berserkers. And he's right next uh, to the big guy, too. All right, let's go around this way. Um, actually, no. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go back to the base, refresh, rest, and buff, <coughs> and refresh our food. Okay, let's finish this task. Finish the task at hand here. Um, let's see. I wish it wasn't raining right now, because that's really going to fuck up our stamina. Is it starting to clear up? I don't think so. I think that's the elite right there. Alright, let's pull them way back over this way. Now, 
way if he kills us at least we're at our base here oh he's a two star oh we really put the hurt on him though hey where are you going All right, you know what? Fuck you then. Where the hell's he going? He's gonna run me out of stamina and then turn around and kick my ass. That's what he's gonna do. He's running back home to mommy. All right, he wasn't, he wasn't as bad as I thought he was. I mean, if we would have been in melee with him, he probably would have hit like a Mack truck, but we were actually able to block that one hit, so maybe maybe I overreacted, but you know, better to be safe than sorry, right? Okay, so we still have the wooden berserker there, and there's a little guy way off that way, but I think this berserker's by himself, so let's deal with him. Hold a little one too. Okay, let's take him out first. Okay, two more down. Oh, he's a one star shit. Unfortunately, he's giving us time to regenerate our stamina. Okay, we got the attention of another little guy. What's up with these guys running off, man? him down a bit. I don't know if I want to get into... Ooh, okay. That's a negative... A, yeah, a negative. Nasty attack. Ow! Son of a beach. That hurt. He's got some reach on that thing. No, 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 no. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. <laughs> oh, come on, Lox. Seriously? You've got to be kidding me. Ah, uh, stamina! Yeah. Jesus Christ. Why do we have to have a Lox and a one-star Berserker at the same time? That is just not fair. Yeah. See, that's the time to attack this guy when he does his little triple hammer thing. Doing very good on my dodges. Whew. Oh, that was intense, man. No, no. We don't want another Berserker in locks. Yeah, you know, you stay up there. You stay up there. Behave yourself. Where do those locks come from? Okay, we need... Uh, here, let's do this. I'd let him go if I knew for sure he was going to go and not come back and come after me later, but uh, he has gone a hell of a long ways away. Okay, let's just try and be mindful that that dude might come back and try and bite us in the ass, but 
Okay, I don't like the fact that there's two more Loxes over there either. Kind of right where we need to do our combat. Did, uh, yeah, we killed the... We killed the one star berserker. There's a I see another little guy over there. Are these guys gonna let me go past them without being dicks? I think so. Grab that stuff later. I don't want to get wet right now. You the last one? And... I think we've done it. We've cleared this village. Oh, no, we haven't. There's one more. Where is he? He's probably up in the house there. Look at all this barley. Nice. We'll take all that. That'll give us a nice boost to get started. That stuff. Nice little supply of black metal. You are being oh, fuck. Wolves are coming. stamina. Okay, let's get our stamina built back up. These guys aren't actually doing as much damage to me as I thought they would, which is fine by me. We can make some more wolf kebabs. Okay, let's just chillax until this event is over. And then we'll go back because uh, we left some stuff over there. Yeah, those wolves didn't hit as hard as I was ex uh, as I was expecting them to, so that wasn't so bad. What are we getting? Another wave coming through? Okay, let's take them on over here. I got the stamina to do it now. All the locks has kicked their ass over there. Another wave. The loxes are just wrecking those guys. Look at all the wolf meat and hide and stuff that they're they're leaving for us, though. Okay, it's done. I mean, I don't need the hide so much anymore, but the meat, you know, for the kebabs is good stuff. Let's drop off a few things and then go back and finish out that village. And there's one more little guy we got to kill, too. He's already par partially down, so we might as well finish him off.
Come on, Sam, God damn it. <laughs> it runs out at the worst possible time. Oh, gosh. All right. That part about me saying nothing's ever easy? Yeah. How are we doing on weight? Uh, we're, we're pretty good. All right, let's go back to this village. I really want to finish this damn thing out before we end this episode. And then we can build in peace in the next one, you know? But this place has fought me tooth and nail trying to claim this uh, this area. Maybe it was because I was bragging earlier about being a Viking and all that bullshit about this being my right to take over. <laughs> Maybe that's what it was. Okay, we still have over seven minutes arrested. Did we check this chest? We did not. Let's take that. I think we checked this one, though. Okay, we just got one dude to kill. And we got... Uh, I think we got all the crops. It was just this one here. They didn't have any um, flax, but I have some flax that we can get started with. And there's another village way off that way with flax, too, that we can get later. All right, you're a spear guy. And that is the final one of these little bastards. Okay. That is it, ladies and gentlemen, for clearing out our first fueling village. Uh, at least solo. I, we did it on multiplayer too, but that's... When you have all the guys helping you, it's a little bit different and easier situation. <laughs> I still heard heard a fueling out there, but I think that's probably just a random one. It's not part of the village. Um, all right, good. Let's pick up all this loot here. Just looking to see if there's anything I may have missed over on this side. But I think we're good to go. All right, so yeah, next episode, the plan will be to start working on building our new base. It's going to be awesome. Let's get all this stuff here. Man, I can't believe we... Uh, <laughs> I can't believe we did all of that without dying once. Um, that's pretty damn good. And I don't... I'm not saying that in a... To brag, I'm saying it to... Because I'm thankful we didn't die, right? Dying sucks, man, because you lose skill points, among other things. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Ciao.